Hey everyone, Soul here, and welcome to my run of Fran's level 180 chaos stage. So this is probably going to be a bit of a uh, retirement party here for Team Soldier in regards to chaos, because looking at the schedule moving forward, uh, there don't seem to be many stages here that these three are going to be able to take on. And yeah, it's just going to be kind of uh, getting worse from here. There's going to be a pretty... Uh, a somewhat noticeable difficulty spike here in the next month or so, and I just don't know if Soldier's going to be able to handle it. So these three are going to ride out for one last time. We're going to go take out some flying lion griffin looking things in the forest, bring an Ifrit summon, RNA support. Team Soldier, the Lifestream Dream Team, one final time. Maybe not, I mean, we'll see. Let's go. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so the nice thing about this stage is that the turn requirement for the stage is actually quite high, especially with this team. Um, it's 110 turns uh, for the turn requirement. And in my off-camera test I did, I really didn't have any problem at all um, getting underneath that. Like, I could have finished the stage around 90 turns or so. We'll see if I reach, if I do that well in this run. I have a feeling I probably won't because I do plan on playing this first wave here especially much more safe uh, in terms of skill usage because I ended up finding out that, um, you know, this, this first wave um, with Zack especially is really not a problem at all. Um, it's very, um, you can steamroll over it pretty easily because of his shields and his provoke and all that. So, definitely going to be relying on some HP plus here, um, kind of edging my way along, uh, with, with an exception of Cloud, because Cloud uh, is not nearly as good as the other two uh, on that final wave, just because Cloud is, just the way his kit works, a very, very good uh, single target um, attacker but not so great when there's multiple enemies. Okay, we go rain. Okay, I'm going to use Sephiroth to catch. Because Zack, regardless of what I do, is going to get broken by Doom. Yep, so he slides back. Cloud's going to get broken. Oh, it missed Cloud. Well, okay, never mind then. I guess that works out too. Um, hmm. Double cross slash. Hey, we got paralysis. Yep, so because Sephiroth dodged that attack, now my reunion stack's going to fall off. There we go. And I'm hoping that'll be his EX. Hmm. Okay, let's Octa. Beautiful. Okay, critical crush, get one of those buffs off, and then if I cross slash, I'll have Cloud's EX, but then I'm gonna. Mm, I don't know. I, I'm I'm nervous that he'll be kind of low, five and three entering the final wave. 
But, you know what, I'm going to be swapping them out for Aranea, so let's do it. Oh, you even got a Paralysis. Okay, cool. So that actually worked out really nice, because now Cloud, or I'm sorry, Zack cannot be inflicted with probably Doom uh, entering the final wave, which is going to be a huge help. Don't have to worry about him just getting broken out of nowhere now. Alright, here we go. So that Monarch's Disposition is a party buff to the their whole party, so Cloud's first priority is to get rid of that. Okay, but first, I'm going to HP+, plus. hopefully that breaks a... Perfect, okay. So now I can get... Actually, I was thinking about using Finishing Touch, but I have Meteor Rain available, so we'll just do that. Okay, so Sephiroth now is at his full potential. The okay, arrow is totally fine. What I am worried about... Okay, so like I was talking about earlier, uh, eventually, at some point, when they're in the air, they'll use a move called Mazer Beam. And Mazer Beam is a huge problem because regardless of Zack's shield status, uh, it will always break him. And then that removes the shield buff just outright from him, which is a huge, huge, huge problem. So whenever these guys are displaying all, um, I'm actually pretty happy about it because that means that Zack's shield gets to live another day, another moment. should be his EX. Okay, so EX is not ready. Um, yeah, we don't, we'll just dump. We'll just dump Brave. Still cap with that EX regardless. Okay, so there is Great Mazer. Has shield, still gets broken. So when they're on the ground, they are a much lesser threat. They don't do that great mazer thing. They behave themselves for the most part. You know, they don't do anything crazy. No dispelling the buffs or anything like that. So, yeah, it's uh, I can breathe. I can breathe easy when they're when they're on the ground. Right, I'm saving those fervent blow uses for when uh, Aranea comes in. It'll still be a minute yet before that happens. I want to get them down probably half health, maybe a little bit less before I bring her in. Awful stream. It's a two-hit brave HP attack. They also use a move in the air. I think it's called Onslaught, which is a uh, HP attack, then a brave attack, then another HP attack. And if Zack uh, does not have his shield up, that can be a huge problem. Also, Zack does have last stand, but that will just by nature of the move get around last stand as well. So it's a it's kind of a scary move. <laughs> 
seeing that happen, so hopefully we don't see that happen uh, for a minute yet. Okay, Apocalypse is up. Yeah, let's do it. No, we're just gonna have Cloud Brave. Okay, Black Materia, nice. Oh boy, all that brave. Buffs back on Zek. And then I believe we're gonna Octa Slash with the yeah, Octa Slash with Sefi here. Cut down A's Brave. Okay, Apocalypse, beautiful. Hopefully A doesn't immediately troll me and use Mazer Beam. If he does that, I'll be really sad. <sighs> Just the way we drew it up. Okay, so at least this way I was able to keep their Breeze down low enough to where they wouldn't smack Zack with a super powerful HP attack. Okay, hopefully A lands too. Okay. Cool. Alright. Um, okay, let's change slash B. Grand Mash is fine. Okay, nice. Double Grand Mash. I'll take that. Okay, and I'm thinking that'll be his EX. Perfect. Okay, Monarch's disposition. Um... I don't know if A's going to come out of break. If, like, if, ideally here, A would be coming out of break next turn. I could 65 with Cloud and then break A. That way when he, he uses Awful Stream on Zack, it doesn't do a whole lot. But I don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately. So I need to break B there, or with Cloud there. So Okay, so he did come out of break. Yeah, so the best call then there would have been to 65 with Cloud. Hmm. 
Cloud being paralyzed here is a huge problem because I would be switching Cloud out, like, right now. As soon as Cloud's next turn came up. Alright, well, we gotta shave B down. Okay, that was a pretty decent amount. I, I did not think it'd be that much. So that works out. Um, let's see, okay, Zaxel has a shield, but if he uses that Mazer thing, then that's gonna go. Okay, yeah, let's use Chain Slash. Okay, so Zach's over half health, so I don't have to worry about him getting taken out. Let's use his onslaught. Oh my god! As <laughs> as soon as I said that, I was just thinking like, well, assuming he doesn't use onslaught, and then sure enough. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So, I need to break A. Okay, Zach has Apocalypse ready. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and use that. Okay, if I can just get through this, these two attacks right here, then we'll be all right. Okay. Whew. Okay, there we go. We're good. All right. So now at this point, okay, they're both doing all attacks even. So I can even keep Cloud in if I wanted to. You know what, but let's see. The multi all attacks means their next attack is safe. I don't have to worry about any like Zack getting super like destroyed or anything. Um yeah, you know what? I think I think this is a good time. Okay, let's do it. Black material. Hopefully that's just about 99k. Okay, perfect. Yeah, beautiful. Let's make sure we get Vital Crusher on B as well. We don't want him to feel left out. Does he have a 65? No, he does not. Okay.
Rush Assault B, and that should be enough to break him. Okay, good. Okay, good. He landed. All right, good. And he great mazered. That's fine. Are you going to land too? Okay, good. Man, that, that Octoslash is just enough potency. Whew, okay. Um... You know what? I'm going to chain slash. Now, Zack is going to get broken by one of them. But luckily, cr uh, crowd. Luckily, crowd still has cross slash plus. So I can paralyze one of them. That ensures that Zack won't get HP plus punished. Or Zach can just go, you know, right away and not have to worry about that at all. You know, whatever. You know, we're going to finishing touch. I want to cross slash plus my pocket just in case something goes haywire here. Two turns of shield left, perfect. Black Materia. Apocalypse is ready on Zack. Yeah, we are looking really, really good. Awful stream, that's fine. Okay, down he goes. We are seeing purple numbers. Team Soldier, the live stream dream team. Take it away, Zach. Oh, that is so good. That is so fun being able to use these guys in a chaos this late. Especially Cloud, you know. Cloud is still doing his thing. He still had a lot of ability uses left, so he did all right. Boom. 16 brave breaks. This team doesn't care. Wow, that was awesome. All right, guys, so... Thank you for watching this themed run. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, this might be the end of this team for a while. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i try. You know, I, me and Sefi, a um, friend of mine, we, we talk about this team and try and figure out places to use them, but I just don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Good luck on your friend draws if you guys do any. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and thanks again for watching. See you later.